Hello, GP developers. This is Steve with DineDeveloper.com and 4Penny.net. And today we're going to continue in our series of videos teaching you how to develop with uh, Visual Studio and Dynamics GP. Uh, in today's video, we're going to do the fun work. We're going to do a hello world example um, writing code in Visual Studio, and we're going to see that code show up inside of Dynamics GP. It's going to be fun, I promise. And here we go. Let's put some logos up on the screen. And let's roll the intro. Okay, here we go. First thing that we're going to do is create a new project. So we're going to do file and new and project. Um, in our last video, we discussed installing the SDK. And so that should already be here. You should already have this Dynamics GP add-in um, already in your project. If you don't, look in the links below, go to the last video and, and get that started and then come back here. It will pick up from there. So we're going to check the, um, the location. That's fine. The solution name, we don't care. And we're just going to double click on Dynamics GP add-in. And there's our code. Um, so a couple of things we want to do real quick. The first one is set the, um, the .NET reference. So we're going to come here. And this is GP15. It really just didn't matter. This was just happens to be the VM that I opened up when I started here today. So um, 15 uses the .NET 4.5.1 framework. It, um, there, each version of Dynamics has to have its own version of, uh, the, of the framework. You have to get the right framework or it won't work. So look in the, um, uh, in the comments below. I've linked to the article that tells you which .NET framework links to which GP version. Pick the right one and off we go. So we've got our .NET framework set. And the second thing that we want to do is reference the DLLs. So um, in the project add references. We're going to navigate to uh, the GP folder and I usually keep uh, a link to uh, GP15 right there. So in this case I'm going to go into the Visual Studio Tools folder, the SDK folder, scroll down and we're going to find these two DLLs right here. So I'm going to pause for a second. Bridge and Shell, those are the two DLLs that you want. So um, let's set a reference to those two DLLs and we'll say OK. And we're back in our project. So really, uh, that's most of it. Um, one more step that we have to do, we're going to right click on the project and choose properties. And we're going to do a neat little trick that I didn't know about for the first couple of years that I was, I was doing this. What I used to do was compile my project and then move the code into the add-ins folder. But it turns out um, that you can do this. We're going to go to the Compile tab. We're going to choose Browse. Um, and we're going to navigate to uh, the, the GP 2015 install folder. And we're going to say Select Folder. Oops, sorry. Navigate to the add-ins folder and select that folder. So what this does is it tells the program that when it runs to compile the code in that folder and not the one that it would in the bin debug folder that you're used to. So step one, tell it where to build. Number two, go to the debug folder and start external program. Navigate to the 15 directory scroll down to dynamics.exe. We're telling the program that when we press the start button to run dynamics. Does that make sense? Um, in the command line arguments box, we're going to type in dynamics.set. Um, I'm not going to explain why because that's a, a longer discussion. Um, but do it. And in the working directory, um, just add the, the Dynamics GP directory, which is going to be Dynamics Slant, in our case, GP 2015. So with all that done, go back to the main directory. Um, they've already built this initialized sub here for you. Type our, type our hello world code. And 
press the start button. There is a login screen. And there's our message box. So we're gonna stop right here because that's all that we really um, uh, intended to accomplish today. The code ran um, before the login, before we even got a chance to log in, that initialization routine runs and we have a chance to insert code right there. Now, that's not our goal in a, in a GP uh, project, um, but it is a good demonstration that we have code running inside of GP and it works. So we'll stop there and we'll pick it up again next time. Thank you very much. Do me a favor, if this video was helpful to you, um, go ahead and press the, uh, the, the button down below. Give me, a, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you wanna, uh, if you wanna get further training in Dynamics GP as we put them out.